I finished A-level art! I got an A-star with 100% and I'm really proud of my work so I thought I'd show it you in a video. I've also made a video showing all my A-level graphics work which I also got 100% in where you can see things like this and this and this and this and this and I will link that at the end of the video if you're interested. Anyway, let's get started! What is art? This is the first page we have to do, just answering a bunch of questions like um, What is art? Where can we find art? Who is art for? All them sort of things and I did some sketches I think we have to do them over the summer holidays and then we just put them in our book afterwards Old portraits because that's what I like to do Then we went to a gallery, I went to Manchester Art Gallery Looked at some of their work and then you write about the work and then let's just, I'm going to prepare you There's going to be a lot of writing in this book and then I chose my topic which I wanted to do my work about, which was technology and distortion. I wanted to look at how technology's caught, sort of taken over everything basically. So here's a big uh, mood board with various ideas, all from like magazines and then some post-it notes for a bit of context, asking people questions about how much they use technology and all of that. And we went to the Manchester Uni degree show thing where we looked at their work and it's just another page talking about work. Then I moved to my first artist, David Cumbria, who is a portrait artist who works in like oil paints and stuff. And then we had to do an artist copy of their work. So that right there is a painting which I did. I think I did that in acrylic actually, which is a copy of David Cumbria's work. And then this is a painting I did on acetate, which is like a sheet of plastic being inspired by the way he paints. After researching the artist, we move on to coming up with ideas for our first paintings. So I did a little photo shoot with some of my friends and uh, picked my favourite pictures, put them on this page, picked my favourite two and did drawings of them in biro pen, that's what these are. Bit of an idea generation of what I wanted my painting to look like and sort of what the meaning would be behind it. Some random paintings, I think I did them over the summer holidays actually and I just stuck them in here. I did them all in acrylic but the eye is in oil paints and that was like my first ever oil painting ever. And then this is my first development. And this was my first ever like big portrait in oil paints trying to bring in the idea of the technology through the rectangular sections which was supposed to look like sort of pixels and like the the uh, the pay the piece is glitching um second artist jeremy olsen he's another portrait artist but he distorts the face into these shapes which i thought looked really cool and i thought it would go nicely with my technology theme as it looks like a shattered phone screen sort of and here's a painting i did on some acetate but doing it on different layers. Uh, there's a video of me painting this if you are interested. I think I did that in acrylic. And then just more messing about with pictures, trying to get the sort of glitching effect on Photoshop, separating the face into right rectangular sections. I uh, moved on to my second development. Uh, again, this is in oil paint. From now on, all the paintings are in oil paint, so I don't have to keep saying. And these things just keep getting bigger. Every painting I did was bigger than the last. <laughs> Uh, my final piece is massive. Anyway, so this time I've actually tried distorting the face and bringing out sections. You can see I've painted the eye like that. And then from the painting, I made this video to try and look like it was glitching. I did this by making like 20 images on Photoshop, all with the rectangles in different sections and then playing them really quickly after each other. And there are all the pictures that I edited on Photoshop. And my third development. Uh, this was really inspired by Jeremy Olsen splitting the face into the, the shapes like he does um, But then I'll try painting it more in Davy Cumbria's style with the pops of red poking out here and there And that's supposed to look like a shattered phone screen sort of and there's a few rectangles about to sort of hint at the pixel um, technology look and then idea generation coming up with my ideas for my final piece some Photoshop edits. I knew I wanted to combine the rectangular shape thing that I did in the my second painting with the the cutout shapes that look like the shattered face. <laughs> this is really hard to explain. Um, so I tried to combine the two. In the, this was my mock piece because I was painting hands for the first time ever. So I did a practice of painting the hands. And here's a picture of it. I don't have the real thing. I've lost it, which I'm gutted about because I really like this painting. And here's my final piece. Oh yeah, and there's a lot of writing, oh my god! So much writing, which is always fun. Oh, and a bit of an interview with my friend asking her questions about technology to relate it to my theme. And here's the final piece, and it's massive! Again, in oil paints, and honestly I really really like this. Including the phone, showing she's got the, the distortion on her face, showing that she's become dependent on technology. 
yeah. So that was my unit one, that was worth 60% of my grade, and now unit two, which is the exam unit, is worth worth 40%, and you get given an exam paper with some questions on it, and I chose to do the question fractured. So there's just a mind map coming up with ideas of anything I could do with the word fractured, because it is so vague, you could pretty much do whatever you wanted and find a way to link it back to fractured. So a bit of a mind map and a mood board, and my first artist, oh and my second artist, John Wentz and Henrik AA, they were my artists. Because this exam unit's much shorter, and we just did our artists combined onto one page. And then there's painting in oils, that I did again on acetate, and this is a painting I did in oils. This was a copy of John Wentz's work, and here's the real thing. Um, and I really, really like this painting actually, it's one of my favourites. Um... What's next? What's next? What's next? Primary photos. Took pictures of my dad out and about in town to come up with ideas for my paintings. Uh, this whole uh, unit, I based it around the idea of like a fractured society, how we all live together in a community but no one really talks and people see strangers as sort of like a hindrance. That was the idea behind this project and the painting. So these are just some sketches that I did in Biro Pen with my ideas for my paintings. And this is my first painting, Development One, which was inspired mainly by John Wentz, which was my first artist. He gave me the idea to put like the colour behind and then paint over it in white, but with the colour sort of poking through. And it's the idea behind this is that these three men, they're all sat on the same bench together, but is anyone interacting or looking at each other? No. Oh, and there's my dad. <laughs> His lovely little face. Um, no, they're all sat at complete opposite ends of the bench to each other. Second painting, Development Two, uh, same sort of idea, again of my dad. Uh, took this picture in town of these people walking past my dad and everyone's just ignoring each other and the people as they get further away they start to fade out because that's the way we feel about strangers, they're just blurs in the distance. <laughs> That's what that was supposed to mean. And then I brought in this uh, sub-theme of public transport, because I feel like that's where you can see the idea of a fractured society most, is when you're on public transport. My third development, and unfortunately I can't find this, so the pictures will have to do, which I'm really annoyed with, because I think this is the best portrait I've ever painted. That will have to do, and what's next, what's next? Primary photos, this was my big idea generation for my final painting, so pictures, and uh, look at how many pictures I took there. Yikes, a lot. Some sketches of ideas, a bit of a colour palette. A sketch again in Biro Pen of my final idea. Now, because this was the exam unit, the final piece was done in an exam. Oh, first, oh yeah, here's my mock piece, which just just like a section of the painting. And because it was in an exam, we had 15 hours, three days, five hours each day, and this was my final piece. Um, so yeah, but that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't seen my graphics work, I recommend that you watch the video because I'm really, really proud of it. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy that one as well. So yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.